Go ahead. All right. So uh, my name is Natalie Nahai, and I'm a web psychologist, which means that I'm interested in the psychological strategies that make us behave in certain ways online. Um, so I know that your audience is one that uh, is professional and perhaps looking to start up their social media campaigns. I think a couple of things that helped me at the beginning with mine was figuring out the core values of my business, what I represent, what I stand for, why I'm doing what I do. And it's a great uh, question to ask yourself. So what are my core beliefs? What am I trying to do for my customers? And then off the back of that, finding ways to express those beliefs through different media channels. So it might be that your audience is very visual, in which case you'd want to use Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest, or um, they might be a lot more, dare I say, sort of intellectual and want to read more content, in which case I'd suggest Twitter. <laughs> there is some research that suggests that people who use Twitter have that kind of preference anyway from Canada, I think it was. Um, so core beliefs, choosing the right platform, and then I think one of the important things is to balance a sense of integrity in who you are, so you have personality, with um, parameters on how you want your business to be perceived, and getting that balance right is very important, and it takes time, and you'll fail a couple of times, and you've got to have an idea about how to deal with the mistakes when they happen, because that will build or break your reputation. Um, so yeah, so if you want to know more, you can find out more for this wonderful blog post, um, or look me up, or uh, have a look at the video. Thanks. But um, you said you want to how you were perceived, or and how you want to and how you are. Mm. Is there a difference? I, there's always a difference. People, okay, cool. People project based on your brand image, what you wear, the way that you speak, the content that you create. People will build up a perception about who you are, based. <coughs> in part on their own perceptions, their own associations. And so you've always got to get an idea about how that will potentially mix with who you want to be perceived as or who you stand for. Um, and the best way to do that is to get feedback from people and actually open your ears up and listen to the negative commentary as well as, as, well as the good um, and then adjust accordingly. It's, it's a process that takes some time, but it's very worth doing. Thank you very much. Is that enough? Yes. Okay.